How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now a few days ago EA did a huge post about what we can expect to see in Battlefront in the coming months. We got loads of news about the new Best Pin DLC. Now I know this was a few days ago so this isn't exactly a news video. Instead what I'm going to be doing today is just reviewing all the new details we got. I'm going to be speculating about a few things and just basically giving you my opinions on the new details that we have. So let's just get into it. So starting off with new in-game events. So that's basically more double score weekends, community missions, which I'm a big fan of. I really enjoy doing them. Special login events and stuff like that really. So not a very big piece of news there. It's exciting really, but I can't really say much about that to be honest, except that I love doing the community challenges. New hook contracts. Now we got a look at these in EA's live stream that they did for Outer Rim. So I'll put them on screen now and basically we've got the Berserker trait, we've got the Bacta Bomb and we've got the Ion Neutralizer. So the Ion Neutralizer, I'm guessing it's just some type of heavy weapon that may be good against vehicles, you know, I don't really know what to say about that one. The Bacta Bomb though, I'm very, very interested in this one. Now, I'm guessing this could be something that you can maybe throw when you're in a game and it could heal you. Maybe it could heal others. So, you know, it could be something that doesn't just work to your advantage, but it could work to your teammates' advantage as well. So the Berserker trait, what can we expect with this? Well, I'm guessing it's just something that is going to give you a bit more power in a way. What I mean by this is I think it's going to give you a bit more health. So maybe if you get shot you're going to have a bit more health than other people. So maybe if you get a headshot, which maybe with a new sniper rifle, that would be an instant kill usually. You know, you die straight away, you're not coming back. But maybe with this trait, you could maybe need a headshot, then another shot to the body, and that would maybe kill you. I'm guessing it's going to give you a bit more health. Maybe it's just going to make you more overpowered. It could do something to your weapons. You never know where your weapons become a bit more overpowered with each trait level. So I don't know what to really expect with these. We have got the images, which does help a bit, I suppose, with speculation. But honestly, I'm just looking forward to more hook contracts in general, as I'm a big fan of them. And I just want to unlock them all, so I'm really looking forward to these ones. We have more new content. So, um, they basically said they've got some surprises that we know our fans have been looking for. Especially those who want more Battlefront offline gameplay or modes, whatever you want to call it. So, people are saying, is it going to be instant action? And I agree with them completely. I think we're going to get all, is it 12 game modes now? It's either 10, 11 or 12 game modes. I'm not too sure. But um, we're going to be probably be getting all of them just to play offline with bots. It's going to be amazing. Uh, the reason I don't know how many it is, is are we going to be just getting the original nine game modes to play, you know, offline? Or are we going to be getting turning point and extraction as well so it's 11 game modes in total i don't know where i got 12 from but are we going to be getting all those with bots are we just going to be getting the original ones i don't know i don't think they mean though however with this that they're going to be bringing in a campaign mode sadly i would really like to see that but honestly i just don't think that's what they mean here here's what i'm really excited about the season pass, the best pin DLC, the heroes were revealed and it gets off to a good start in my opinion, Lando Calrissian. Now I know a lot of people wanted Chewbacca and I'm so glad they left Chewbacca out of this one and gave us Lando instead. I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with that, however, think about it logically. We meet Lando on best pin, so getting Chewbacca, although Chewbacca is seen on best pin, obviously, in The Empire Strikes Back, it just wouldn't work out right. You know, Lando being the best pin hero is just absolutely amazing. And I'm really looking forward to playing as him. Now, for the villain, I know a lot of people are happy about this villain. And a lot of people are very disappointed. I'm sort of in the middle. Because don't get me wrong, Dengar, who is the new villain, he's a decent bounty hunter. You know, he's seen in the Clone Wars a bit more than he is in The Empire Strikes Back. Which is the only movie I think he's seen. And I don't know if he's seen in Return of the Jedi. Um, but... I'm excited to play as Dengar, but I think it was a lazy option in a way. The reason I think this is because a lot of people wanted Bosk. When you look at those bounty hunters seen in Empire Strikes Back, apart from Boba Fett, who we've obviously got in the game, Bosk is the standout one there. And he's the one who everybody wanted. And they go and give us Dengar. 
Now the reason this is lazy is because we already have humans in the game so all they really need to do is make another human skin, give him um, Dengar's outfit and yeah, boom, you've got, you've got your villain there. Whereas Bosk, a lot more time would have gone into that. I mean, I do think we're going to see Bosk in probably Death, it probably in the Death Star DLC. But this is quite worrying in my opinion. And the reason that is, is because I was hoping to get Bosk in the Best Pin DLC and then that was the end of getting Bounty Hunters now because I'm fed up of just, I know there's not many villains in the original trilogy, but we can't just have the whole Empire's hero team just being Vader the Emperor and a bunch of Bounty Hunters, it doesn't work out. I know the Empire hire Bounty Hunters, but come on, we've got to break the rules here, we've got to have some people from the prequel trilogy come in. Now, I'm going to predict, uh, well I'm not going to predict actually because I still don't think they're going to do it, but I'm going to say I want Darth Maul to come in here and I do have a reason on why it's a logical choice and that is because we already have the Zabrak skin in the game. Now think about it for a second, we get Dengar in the Best Pin DLC, we get Bosk probably in Death Star and then whether the um, expansion pack 4, which we still don't know the name of, whether that's going to be to do with Rogue One or not, hopefully if it is to do with Rogue One, we get a new villain from that. But the thing is, if it's not from Rogue One, the chances are we'll get another bounty hunter, which will be a bit annoying. Now we're obviously getting Dengar, and I do really want Bosk in the game, so I still hope they put Bosk in, in, um, in the Death Star, I know it's a best pin then, but really, if the last expansion pack isn't based on Rogue One, I definitely want Darth Maul. They've just got to break the rules, because who doesn't want to see Darth Maul's double-bladed lightsaber with these graphics? Who doesn't just want to see Darth Maul in general? Not to mention that he is probably the most, one of the most beloved characters from the prequel trilogy, so I think it'd go down very well with fans who maybe don't like the prequels as much. I still think they'd love to see Darth Maul. Come on, who doesn't? Finally, some very minor but amazing news. EA have finally confirmed that we will be getting eight new heroes in total with the season pass. It wasn't made very clear on the website or like on the game in general or anything like that. It said four new heroes and villains, something like that. So people didn't know if it meant four heroes and four villains or just four new playable heroes slash villains in general. I didn't explain that very well, but it has been confirmed that we are getting eight heroes uh, slash villains. So two of them are nine known and Greedo. Then we're obviously getting um, Lando and Dengar. So who are the last four going to be? As I said, I think it's, well I haven't said this yet, but it's probably going to be Chewbacca, it's going to be Bosk, and if the last DLC isn't Rogue One, it's going to be Obi-Wan, and probably if it's going to be a bounty hunter, so I'd probably say something like Forlom, IG-88, Zuckus, I don't know, but one of those definitely. So that obviously means two heroes will come with each expansion pack, which is really good, it gives us as the fans a lot more to look forward to. So I do hope you enjoyed this video, it was just giving you guys my opinions really of it. Um, and the reason I didn't get the news video out on time was because I'm still at college so I have a lot of work to do. It was just a bit hard for me to get it out there and then. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And the Battlefront streams are coming back in the next few weeks. I made a video about that the other day so if you haven't saw that already there will be a link down in the description. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you all next time.